This is the last time that the back of my van is going to be naked. Cause I am about to sticker bomb it. So I've had a lot of people tell me that you can't sticker bomb a sprinter. So many people are like, oh my God, no, like you have to leave it the way that it is. You have to leave it clean. And like, it's such a look. It's so like classic, I guess not classic, but like, like oh, you can't. <laughs> You can't ruin a sprinter by putting stickers on it, but um, I'm gonna do that. I'm going to ruin my sprinter by covering it in stickers because I love covering things in stickers. My old van, um, the license plate, was covered in stickers and everywhere I went, everybody's like, oh, I love your stickers, I love your stickers. Cause it's just, I don't know. I find that it's a nice way of kind of collecting the places that you've been or things you like showing things about yourself the reason why people put stickers on cars and I like that so I have a bunch lots of stickers lots of stickers places that I've been things that I've bought stores I like brands I like I'm actually I was sad that I didn't get to put them on my old van, but now that I don't have that van anymore, I'm really happy that I didn't get to put the stickers on it, because now I wouldn't have any to put on this one. Look how lovely and clean it is. I cleaned it, but then I drove it home. Excuses. The velvet underground, the only good thing in Whistler, except for like Harajuku and that red place. It's one of the only good things in Whistler. I got this skirt there. Oh yeah, the way I put stickers on is not getting any more like careful than <laughs> I've ever done it. It's... Bubbles, don't give a shit. <laughs> First sticker is on and it is a Velvet Underground sticker. Stickers, oh. Oh, the white part's not part of it. That's the peel, peely back part. That one's cute. Julie got me this one. Send a Ben sticker. That's actually a really cute sticker. I like that sticker. I'm glad I didn't put these stickers on my old van. Now I can pretend that I um, went to all these places with this van. <laughs> Do I make him like crawling up? I think crawling up. I think that would be better That's by the 4x4. Four four. That would be really neat. By the 4x4. Four four. I don't know where it was. <laughs> I think crawling up like by the 4x4 four four would be really neat. Okay. I will do that. Because he is an off-roading little lizard guy. Oh my god. Don't hurt his tail. Don't hurt his tail. Uh, geckos are fine without their tails. Only some. Well, this one is. <laughs> oh my god. a very intense sticker. I didn't actually walk across the Hoover Dam. Because dogs aren't allowed to. Nowhere in the States dogs are allowed. Very few. This is cool. I like this little guy. He's cute. That's a really good position for him. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. As it's just Africa attached to a, a tree trunk. Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna be hundred percent honest, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I did not know that was Africa. Because Pemba's part of Africa. Plant for Pemba. Oh. Little Dewey. Oh, Hi here. Doodle. Dewey's been to the Hoover Dam. Doodle bug. Hi. Hello. It's so hard. Much to the anger of elders in Nova Scotia. I have not driven the Cabot Trail. I've never done the Cabot Trail and I've had a lot of people be like, oh my god, you've driven all these places and you've never been to the Cabot Trail? No. No, I haven't been to the Cabot Trail. Sticker oh, number five. Okay, I guess it's going there. Is oh yeah, I guess we should count it. <laughs> it's overlapping. Yeah, it kind of like stuck, but then I knew that if I unstuck it, it wouldn't restuck. Yeah, that's fine. So it's, I just overlap. It's very little overlap. Bit. 
these buns are plant-based. This is a very cute one. Where'd you get that one from? I got this at a cafe restaurant thing in Vancouver that is no longer open. I don't know why. I went to go there when I picked up my bridesmaid dress and they were no longer open. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're going to stick with just one door right now? Um, this door is weird shaped. I see that. It's intimidating. These type of stickers are very, like, common slash classic, I guess. They're just a little white circles with, like, the initials of a place in them. But I really only bought these ones when there wasn't another option. I prefer a colorful or funny or cute sticker over a black and white oval. Oh my god, I suck. But that's okay. A little bit of overlapping, never killed anybody. This one will fit here. Mm -hmm. This is from the Bonneville Salt Flats. Mm. This one says, May the forest be with you. Even though you do not care about Star Wars or anything like that. I was going to say the forest. No. I'm like, I hate the forest. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't planting so good for the environment? You must so be such an environmentalist. Good. I'm really an environmentalist. <laughs> I thought I had a bigger Sitka one as well. I always put my stickers very close together because I know there's going to be more. I know there's going to be a lot. But this is also really big doors. Yes. Oh, the sicko ones are so Very. pretty. Do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a doodle. I'm gonna put it right next to the only other blue thing on this so far. Because apparently you like putting all the same colors together. They just look good together. Oh, this is an important one. This could go by my license plate. Could. Switch it up. Now Maybe let's I should just... Do one door? I don't know. I could put it above the 4x4. Four four. Is there like a direction it's supposed to go? Uh, red on yeah. top. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was about to say. Do I center it? Nah. Yeah. That's good. There's some stickers that I miss off my old van. My favorite one was a little seagull with like a the, six pack. The six pack, yeah. Around his um. I remember that one. Neck. And it said, "Dump no waste. Your trash shouldn't be on his back." And then I had one where it said, "Van life is not a crime." One said, "Vanning ain't no joke." But they're both from the same guy, and I'm sure I could get them again. Um, and that guy also makes stickers of a dog. I want stickers of Dewey. Ooh, this one's so flimsy. There we go. It was a little nerve-wracking. Goblin after Dewey. I think I could do both of these. If this one's like right up there. Mm -hmm. Is that how you leave it? 
Yep, perfect. Oh. <laughs> yeah, leave it for a bit, <laughs> I guess. There you are, I was just wondering. Ooh. Ooh! Fresh. That's sharp. That's sharp. And there has to be a good one in the middle. Some didn't make the cut because I didn't want them on or because they were too papery. I can just put the Death Valley one in the middle. That's good. It doesn't have to be like, I feel like they all have to be like a centimeter away from each other. For my American friends that don't know how big a centimeter is, I don't either. What did you hear, Dewey? Now this one. I wonder how long it's going to take me to get used to just calling them ecologists instead of Sitka. Forever. I think it's just always in my heart it's just still going to be Sitka. Oh, and then that's the perfect spot for Smokey the Bear. This is a fancy sticker. There's a story on the back of it. Some unnecessary plastic. Beautiful. Do I just leave this gap? You could. Cause like it's gonna look weird if I have like bent stickers. This one works because he's climbing. It's all up to you. I think I have to skip it. Only have choice. So your final decision? Yeah. Yeah. Final answer. I say the van looks better. Oh, it definitely looks better. I drove like 10 kilometers on Route 66 last fall. So, I've been there. Does that have a story like to the bottom of it as well? Nah. <laughs> Just explaining what the redwoods are. From another one of the few good things in Whistler. It is an all plant based sourdough bakery. It says bread to shred. And where's that one from? Uh, Antelope Canyon. I can't wait till like they're all up this high. You're gonna have to help me when I get my camper. Mm -hmm. Do you have a collection yet? Very little because uh, I may have lost a handful of them. How? Uh, just organizing the room and misplacing them. I saved up stickers for years. And then I put them all in my old van. And then I pulled it. That one didn't end up straight, but that's okay. It's a delinquent. It looks good. Okay, so 28 stickers later, I'm done for now. Believe it or not, this is, a, this is 28 stickers. I thought that it was gonna take up a lot more room, but the doors are really, really big 
So it just means I have lots of room for more. And then the last sticker to go on is the ones I have made. Um, it says no hierarchy amongst dirt bags. And this is in response to all those stickers that say one less sprinter. Because as far as I'm concerned, if you live in a minivan, if you live in a sprinter, if you live in the back of your Toyota Corolla, we're all doing the same thing. It's all the same stuff. Let's stop trying to act like we're better than each other. A van's a van! That's something right here. Ta-da! Sticker.